Well, good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone. I'm still here trying to guess where the sun is because <laughs> a little difficult to see where the actual sunrise is going to be this morning because of all the heavy cloud we're seeing in the distance. I actually thought it was a snow cloud the way it was feeling out here on the beach this morning, um, but I know different to that, of course. Good morning to each and every one of you. Um, right now, I'd just like to say our serenity prayer and then we will take a couple more minutes to see if we can get a sunrise coming up. But I think this is a good time for us to do so. If you'd like to join us, please do. Otherwise, we'll be back with you in a few seconds. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Doesn't look as though we're going to get a really good sunrise this morning. Uh, just too many clouds around. Look really good from home this morning, seeing a lot of stars and stuff, but conditions did not favor us up here this morning. Uh, actually, there are a couple of things that we can talk about this morning for sure, and that is sargasm. Uh, lots of it up here in this section. Uh, hopefully this does not come down onto the south coast side. Um, however, this section definitely has quite a bit of it, as you will see. And you know, we're in the Parish of Christ Church right now. We're in a place called Long Beach. Uh, I rate this a plus four beach. If you've been following us for a little while now, you would know what plus four means. Um, so for those that have not been, it just means I want you to come, if you're coming to a place like this here, with a couple of friends. You know, don't just come here with you and your partner and lay on this beach, especially when you get to the center of the beach and to the northern end uh, by yourselves. Because if you do get a little bit on the uh, sand gravity side and you start to experience a little bit of sleepiness, etc., um, you know, you want other people around there who are alert. I'm not saying there's anything going to happen, but the conditions are here for it. There are traps that run all up behind the bushes. Um, you know we like to point out the real Barbados. I like to tell you exactly what we're seeing and what you know what to look for. The traps that run from here right up to the cliffs up at Paragon, all behind and through these casuarinas, sea grapes, and all other kind of um, sea, sea or beach bushes that you'll find along this area. Lots of little sections, little coves, little hidden out spots and stuff. So if you're coming here for walking, no problem. I won't say to walk right up onto this uh, section with the bush and stuff. I would recommend walking further down on the beach just to give yourself some room and some comfort. You know, as I said, I, I'm not telling you anything is going to happen. I'm just telling you that the conditions are favoring something to happen if it, you know, if you come up here and you're careless, you know, just exercise caution as you go back home. This morning, I had to get up and come up here. I parked right down by Silver Sands uh, Recreational Park and then looked at my watch. I saw 5 to 6. I had to put on the extra speed and come up the road. Good thing that I had a rest day yesterday, you know, and it's a good thing it was cool because I didn't overheat coming up either. It was pretty good. I didn't uh, actually have to gasp for too much breath, but it did have me a little bit struggling. I'm going to just take you out here. Now, let's see, this 360 we're going to experience a lot of sargasm, but this is expected at certain times of year. Right now, I think it's a little bit early, but from a friend of mine told me that up in Antigua, um, they have a lot of problems with it right now. So we're, as you know, down to the south and east of there. Um, so I don't know what we may get from it as well. I understand it was a mat that one of our friends that was here on the island also saw when they were leaving the island on Thursday that was out to sea. So I would suspect it went into the eastern side and not right to the south side. I didn't see too much on the Bashba area. However, that may have changed over the last 48 hours or so. Okay, we're going to take a 360 of this spot here. This is a beautiful beach once more. It's just to the um, east side of Chancery Lane Swamp. Um, it is called Long Beach and this is in the parish of Christ Church. So here we go. If you saw our 4K video the other morning um, up on the uh, cliffs of Long Beach, that is to the extreme end of where we are right now. That's right over to the northern side of where we are. 
um, that's where the old resort was. So it's just to give you a bearing of where we are approximately. In the distance, the structures you're seeing on the cliffs, that is the Barbados Defense Force Paragon Center. Um, there, are, there is a shooting range up there and stuff. Now, as you had um, seen before, or maybe if you're new and stuff, you can actually drive from Long Beach along the cliffs, right along those cliffs that you're seeing right now, right up into Ocean City and St. Philip. And then you can go back through some residential area and then up to Ragged, uh, sorry, to Fall Bay. So those cliffs are accessible. I would recommend a four by four. I wouldn't do it in um, a car because if we do have any rains and stuff out there, it can become very slippery. And you're really down behind the cliffs. There's really no one to see you per se. Uh, signal strength is fairly weak in some of those areas, not all of them. You can actually get a signal because we've done a couple of lives up there as well. I'm going to come back to the sunrise for you in a little while, but have a look at this glorious sky. The sky this morning, another artwork from God. He's been creating some amazing masterpieces over the last few weeks. Uh, we've been watching them here with the cooler clouds on the evening especially. You would see that he had up a 4K that was taken down on Bay Street, north side of, Bay, of Carlal Bay. Um, that was a couple of days ago. Just beautiful, beautiful clouds giving us a lovely, lovely visual here. Just stunning visual of the sky. As you can see, lots of sargasm. It's very heavy up here at the moment. I am surprised actually because from uh, my experience, this is a little bit early. Usually it's like late February. Um, but this may be just a breakaway. I don't know what's happening that would have caused this, but can't, I can't really guess nature. Nature plays its role. Um, but it's something that we've come to accept. I mean, it doesn't take away from the beauty of here at all. I mean, this is a rustic, real rustic area, very rough, you know, uh, undeveloped on the beach section. But behind these trees here, there are quite a few homes. Um, there's the Burke family, surfing family, the Burks, they live directly behind these casuals here. I believe they have some Airbnb properties. Good morning, Alan and family. Shout him pretty loud there, don't mind. Anybody else that's not named Alan may not like that, but Alan may be happy to hear that this morning. It's just a beautiful morning. Look at this sky though. Is this not stunning? Beautiful. Don't worry, we're not gonna miss that. We're gonna come back to that in a few minutes time because you know, that is the highlight of the morning for me watching that sunrise and I think probably for you all as well. It's just beautiful out here this morning. I mean, stunning conditions. Um, you know, the weather conditions are a little bit, I wouldn't say cold. Of course, I wouldn't say cold. I would say nippy. But um, you know, it is just a beautiful, beautiful morning. Just to show you my attire, no winter gear. I am dressed fairly formally with my brolly because uh, it was looking like some rain. We did have some rain on the way up here this morning, but you know me already. I, I am the winter man in Barbados. <laughs> so, <laughs> all those have been extending their invitations for me to come and spend some time up north with them. I would love to, because I'm on vacation, I could stay in the house while you have to go to work. That won't be a problem. I don't mind the snow at all when I'm on vacation. Can't say I would like to work in it, but I don't mind it when I'm on vacation. I actually enjoy it. My angel will tell you that. You know, good morning to my angel if you're on board this morning. I hope you're feeling better today. Weren't feeling too well yesterday. If any of you that have been suffering with colds, flu, COVID or anything else like that, any ailments or whatever, you know, I, I wish you better speedy recoveries to you all. Um, you know, it's a uh, trying times for many of us, but we have to go ahead one step at a time, one foot in front of the other. Just make sure we don't slip, slip back more than we step forward. That's a good old Calypso song in Barbados. One step forward, two steps back. That's not the journey we want to be on at all. This morning I had a on my cap, come out the road in the car. Daffy had some nip to the air. All right, now the reason I was standing ready for the four by fours, for any of you that have walked here before with me, you would know we're gonna be going over some fairly rough coral this morning. Out here, it doesn't ease you. If you slip off any of these higher little peaks on the coral itself, you will most definitely get cuts around your ankle and stuff. That's why I like to recommend four by fours. I wear mid cuts all the time. I just like the little extra security and padding around my ankles um, when I'm doing cliff walking. Definitely a lot better for me. I actually tend to wear four by fours all the time because I don't want to put on a two by two. It's either beat shoes or four by four. If it warrants something strong, I'm gonna put on something strong. I'm right, just gonna make my way back across here. Um, this is one of the little blowhole areas up here. It's a little big for the blowhole, but it does shoot up in the air quite a bit when you see conditions are rough. It's a nice little pool, but most of the time now, as you can see, sargasm. Lots of little swamp birds and stuff out here. It's just beautiful on the cliff this morning. Look at that scenery. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna let you all this, uh, see that for a second in quietness while I try and capture 
a photo of that because the colors of that need to be captured if I can do so. Just stunning skies this morning. Don't actually have to see the sun coming up to see the beauty. And that is as pretty as you can want it. Picture perfect. And look at the birds just flying back from the water. You've been capturing some lovely moments this morning with me. Some natural beauty. All right, we're going to be making our way across this. Right, so you will understand that I'm not be um, looking at the camera at all. So if something happens and I don't see it, well, you can always let me know about it later on in your comments. Um, just want to let you know I have um, a very important meeting today, um, mid-morning. Uh, hopefully it will not last too long. Um, I will be coming to the comments this afternoon um, because not only do I want to see the comments and read them and see what you have said about this trip this morning, but I also um, want to see if there are any new members on board so we can keep our registration of them going well. Um, so if my comments this afternoon are brief, um, it would be because I have limited time. Uh, so if you do see brief comments, briefer comments than normal, um, you would know the reason why. That is absolutely stunning. What a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. I hear capturing pictures at the same time, so don't worry. Hopefully they will come out. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But we're going to proceed from here. Rough terrain around here. Now, it is a lot of sand up here. Normally, there's not this much sand up here. If any of you remember when we crossed here the last time, I think it was mm, somewhere back in October or maybe early November, there was no sand up here. All, all up here was water and sea fans. That's all you really saw in this section here. Lots and lots of sea fans. You still see some around. Um, but you see it does get rough around. I know it was rough around that time. And I didn't see much sand up here. If you look back even further than that, say around summer, you would have seen no sand here at all. And just pools of water and obviously sargasm. We couldn't see anything because of sargasm at that time. Someone is starting their own little lovely decoration here with brown coral and sea fans. You know the sea fan, right next to it there on the left of that is brown coral. That used to be very popular here when I was a... a wow, even the skies to the west are looking beautiful this morning. Just beautiful, beautiful this morning. When I was a young guy, um, in my late teens, early twenties, uh, when black coral was really popular here for jewellery, when, when you were allowed, when it was legal to dye black coral, we used to free dye brown coral um, on the south coast of the island. I made necklaces and stuff out of them as well. I remember those days quite clearly. Anybody that was vacation back in the say late seventies, uh, maybe early eighties, you'll remember all of the art and crafts that were made out of um, the black coral and the brown coral. You would have found them all over the island. Now you can't find them at all because it's illegal to dive it. It's actually illegal to dive any coral here in Barbados. It's a beautiful morning. All right, if that sun creeps up any further, we will be seeing it for sure. That's what I brought you up here for, and that's what I'm going to show you. But we're going to get our walk going, because if we wait on that sun, uh, we may not get anywhere today. Lovely conditions. When up here is massive surf, um, you will find waves breaking a good maybe 10 yards, 15 yards off of this um, cliff area here. Big surf that comes around this point here, and this is one of the... Uh, one of the really popular hurricane breaks on the island. Um, I will show that to you in a couple of seconds when we actually get there. The morning is just beautiful. I mean, the, the pictures here, I know the visual effects you all are seeing are amazing. The whips, the colors, it even looks purple in some areas. It's just beautiful. Notice I got a lot of silence going on. Trying to capture these on stills, but a little hard to do that and do any adjustments and stuff. So I'm hoping that the auto will work well this morning for me. So we're on the southeastern tip of the island. Um, we're just to the east of Silver Rock and Silver Sands area. It's in Inch Marlow itself. We're coming up to an area called Woman's Bay in a minute. Um, we'll show you that as well because we're taking a little bit of a stroll this morning. Um, we walk in a little bit of the inland 
we have done that a couple of times. We're going a little more on the inland this morning, and then we're going to come back down onto the cliffs again. Just want to vary it up a little bit. Quite beautiful. Now, at certain times of year, when there's no sargasm, there are some beautiful cooling pools up here. They don't get very deep. Um, if you sit in it, you might get a good chest on it, but otherwise that is, is really, really low. Maybe knee to thigh when it's very, very good conditions. Um, but there's some lovely cooling spots up here. Lots of public thoroughfares to this beach. And walk down here, park and walk down here. Just remember, this is a residential area. So if you're parking in your housing area, please don't park in front of anyone's gap. Um, people are not too happy when someone does that to them and keeps them in their own property or stops them from getting access to their property. When I was a young boy, there was a house located right here. I remember that very, very well, a beach house. It was absolutely beautiful. So any of you that have ever been out here, never seen a beach house, you know where I'm talking. I'm going back in time. I have to apologize for all, ooh, look at all these sea sponges and stuff here. Just want to show you how these are all just floating in. You'll see a lot of garbage to and litter and stuff. This is one of the first landfalls that most of us will make if anyone drops them off the cliffs up in the east or um, off of boats and stuff. They were all washing here. You find most things like nylon ropes and plastics and anything that's really used on fishing boats, mainly in the section here or maybe some of the larger crafts as well. Right, so I was getting back to yesterday. I already have to apologize to you all yesterday. Um, I was trying to hide the teasing. I was trying to hide it. They showing off a little bit. Uh, I didn't want to smile at certain pictures and stuff, but people saw through that. So I have to say my apologies for that. But yesterday was so beautiful and I had such an amazing day. You know, I was um, going through one of those challenging mornings where I was worrying about things in the future that I have no control over. Uh, said the serenity prayer quite a few times. You know, I come out here a lot and be, I'm, I'm very positive, but positivity takes work. It doesn't just happen. You know, there are some days you get up that positiveness is the last thing in your mind. But you get up and you start your day and you use what you can to make it a better day. And that's what I did yesterday morning. So my intentions were not ready to go anywhere. So when I went to the beach, I was feeling good by the time I left home. And when I went to the beach, I was speaking to my angel in the morning. Um, it, I just had an amazing day. Everything looked like 10 times more beautiful than normal. And that's because I wasn't planning to go there and it really lifted my spirits. There's no question that the beach is where I find God for sure. I find him all over, but the beach is where I really find him. The beach, the sea, the, you know, the bush, the hills, the, the, all the fields, all the forests. Don't like use the word forest because some people say forest in Barbados. But we do have some places here called flower forests, etc. So I'm allowed to use that word. Good thing we didn't wait on the sunrise this morning because we'd be up there. But look at the clouds. I am praying the resolution is good here this morning that you can really take this all in. I know recently Facebook has been giving us really low, you know, low quality, only 540 and stuff. Although I am picking up all kind of excellent readings of where I am. I'm not too sure what's really going on there. Hopefully they'll rectify that. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get back up to at least the 720. And if you can get the 1080 that the gamers get, well, I would love that. That would be just great. I have asked for it, but you know, I'm just a, a little person from a small little Caribbean island. So I don't know if it'll take much notice of me. Probably not. But if you send a survey to me, you know, I'm going to fill it out. So <laughs> I completed a couple of surveys recently. Beautiful, beautiful woman's bay. I got some friends that live up here that are fishermen and stuff. Let me tell you, some real, some real people that love this section up here. Absolutely beautiful. All of the bush has gone. When we were here last time, all of the great trees that were here, great bushes that were here, all along this cliff have gone. It looks a little bit bare right now, but it's beautiful. We're looking right now. Um, now Zed Lason has told me that he actually has his place on lease and it is an Airbnb property. Um, they do a lot of paddle boarding and stuff from there still, etc. Um, but Zed is not actually um, in control of that right now. It's on lease. But that is what I like to term as Zed's beach break house. But, you know, it's, things change, but I stick with the old names, a lot simpler for me. Yesterday I was talking to the lady, um, the owner, 
from Chateau Blanc. She said, Nick, the new name is, let me see. Let me see if I can get it right. I don't want, I don't want to spoil it. The Royal Bliss. So, it is called the Royal Bliss. And I am longing, longing to carry you all there when it's completed. We had some really good discussions yesterday. And um, they're mentioning that they should be completely ready by the end of February. Uh, if not by the middle, definitely by the end of February. They'll have all their rooms ready and stuff. They do have a website up, etc. However, they're just waiting to um, put that out to the public when they're able to show the rooms as they're completed. It is going to be an incredible place. I know we're all up on the southeastern tip, and here am I talking about the best beach in the world, but that is what I do because I, I love, I love down there, as you all would know. All right, now there's no sunrise. The clouds will still have it obscured, so we're going to continue walking on our path. And if it does come up, we'll still be able to have a peep at it in some areas. So you see all of the trees, see grape trees that we would have seen last time, because we couldn't see the homes from where we're standing right now. All of them have been taken down. The place looks great. This looks a little bit, um, you know, barren, but it looks great. Now also you remember when we came through here many times last year, there was no sand here whatsoever water was coming right up to the cliff no sand in front of here low tide this morning um, was around 4 4 15 or so can't remember the exact time so don't hold me to that please but it was around 4 somewhere around that time 4 15 4 20 somewhere in that area um, so we're not seeing the full low tide here if we were seeing the full low tide we would have been able to walk around in front of this cliff at this moment but the sand's not always here like that that's only is how it is right now These folks just have a beautiful, peaceful morning, except for this morning, of course, because I'm probably talking or probably hearing me over there. You know what I mean? My voice carries like crazy. Beautiful. It's de definitely very different from anywhere uh, anywhere in the South Coast, for sure. You know, this is where it starts to take on the effects of the East Coast, sea condition-wise, uh, cliff-wise, etc. You know, it's, it's very rough up here. Not a lot of good swimming at all. Or you can cool down in women's bay just right there in the little um cove section there you can get a little cool down or a little bay section there but otherwise to that you have to really pick your way across um some of the coral here to look for those sand sections and stuff not the best of swimming up here but if you want peace quiet relaxation well this would be it for sure I would like to say good morning to our conductor. Yesterday he had goggle eyes because he was watching too much volleyball, beach volleyball. I hope you're able to watch this, sir, and that you <laughs> you don't watch it blurred. And you know, if you if you have a blur effect, is your eyes not the video? I sure it's clear today. Last time we walked here, we walked down in front of these properties. I showed you them. Um, I think I'll do that again actually because I really don't want to take a long walk through the residential area this morning. And here it's so beautiful with all the sand. I remember my age and myself, we sat on these benches here a couple of times, just relax and look at the beauty from here. I think this morning I can give you a little glimpse of that, a little feel of what it's like up here. As you can see, this is a beautiful Airbnb property. Absolutely beautiful. Again, a little sargasm around here, so I guess maybe Miami Beach and stuff may be picking up some or about to pick up some. High tide, we won't be able to sit here at all because the water will be splashing up here. But have a look at what I'm experiencing right now where I'm sitting and visualize yourself here and enjoy this.
Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned the beach house because someone just said, I'm going back donkey years there. So, <laughs> so, sort of like dated myself. Um, maybe I could have said it. What I should have said was, I saw pictures of it when I was a, a little kid, you know, whatever. But no, I actually do remember it quite well. Yes, and that was a few years ago. Not donkey years, just a couple of years. All right, we're going to make our way across this cliff section as well. I don't know where our ending point will be today. Good morning, sir. How are you going? I'm just taking it off of the time-wise. Um, don't want to carry the vlog too long. Um, but it really brought you here to see the sunrise. But you know, you know it is. We saw the daybreak. That's the important part. We saw the beginning of a new day. Beautiful. They're really doing some work on this property. Oh my goodness. Morning. Really looking beautiful. I mean, the landscape in here is incredible. So you can see a hammock on the inside, Mr. Conductor. So if you want to get a hammock and come up here and chill out, you know where to go. This would be absolutely a lovely place to wake up in the morning. This is like, sort of like, if you don't want to go all over to Bashiba, this would give you the same kind of feeling, I'm sure. Just beautiful. I'm going to move on now. Yeah, I saw a mention just now as well of all of the the garbage around yeah that is a crying shame uh, unfortunately this this is the most easily section so long beach and this area is notorious for collecting it it's like a magnet or the angle of it actually everything just seems to wash in up here there are a lot of groups i know that we have a family that lives up here i'm not gonna call any names they can do so themselves um i don't like give up people's locations but they have organized many trips up here cleaning up long beach and along these areas so Imagine if they hadn't have done it, how it would look. This was a very, very popular place years ago for accommodations. I remember when I used to work at Williams Store Company, talking back in the 80s now. Um, this place here was definitely one of the highlights um, for many, many guests staying on the island. Well, on this side of the island, anyhow. Now, there are the days before Silver Sands extension was built. So again, we are predating now. Going back donkey years. So before Silver Sands expanded down onto the beach section, or by the beach section, um, this area here, you see full at all times. All right, Mahmoud, I'm going to be crossing your property in a few minutes time, my brother. So if you're in there, don't send out the guards to me. Do not let off any shots. Uh, do not put the guard dogs on me. Just let me pass safely, sir. If you all know, we've seen uh, down at Coco Hill Forest, um, Mahmoud, he actually owns this property here. Um, so if you're interested in getting some accommodation out here, please give him a shout. I'll show you the sign in a little bit. You can get all the information on it as we walk through his property. I think we should show you what he, uh, he offers. Last time he came through, he got lost. You all remember that? I was walking across the cliff and walked into the dead end. <laughs> I didn't realize I was sealed the property. Up here, cranks when it's windsurfing time. Bar and restaurant, lots of windsurfers come here. I mean, this is the, one of the main locations that people tend to stay now, um, especially the closure of Silver Sands and Silver Rock. You find a lot of guests up here. Mahmoud must see inside sleeping. Good morning, Mahmoud. Mahmoud is inside sleeping? Good morning to you, man. How are you going, right? Say good morning to everybody. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. So we're traveling inward now. I guess you all know as well about the property that was beach and quiet. That's under construction. You see that? That's probably where we'll end off our tour this morning because time is going in a little bit here now. It was taking a long time talking, talking, talking as usual. But this morning, hard to multitask. So tend to talk a lot and not move. This is the information I promised to give you. Beautiful area. Now a lot of homes have been constructed out here. When I was in the early days of surfing, etc., I used to surf Long Beach quite a bit. There were no big homes in this area. All this area was grassland really. But things have changed as they have all over the island some for better some for worse 
Can you all hear this sound of the wind through these mile trees? Just listen. That's just beautiful. I love the sound of mile trees when the wind's blowing through it. it sounds like just a just a beautiful sound. Can't explain it really. Good morning, ladies. How are you all? You want to wave off to everybody in the world? Morning. Yeah, morning. <laughs> okay, take care. So, thank you very much. Some lovely Beijing hospitality as usual. As you all, as you always like to let you all know Barbados. There's nowhere in the world like it. Yes, I am biased. So that's the way I feel about it. But I'm not biased without a reason. All right, this is where all this rubble and stuff you're seeing here is um, sort of the stuff that's left back for the beach and quiet they're working on. I'm not sure the new name. I know we have some people on here. Carolyn, one of our care team members, she used to actually work here years ago. I don't know if she can give us a new name. I'm not sure if you see the sign in the wall as we're going down. <clears throat> but just a real nice little neighborhood. You know, chickens everywhere, of course. We know Barbados turning the chicken land for sure. And all these chickens come around now to turn vegan. <laughs> when I wasn't vegan, I couldn't find any chickens at all. I tell you, I've hunted some of these for sure. One more chicken that has no idea of the time of day. This is that has a communication skill now. All right, we see a 24 hour no trespassing, etc. We're going to veer off through the trees before we get on the property though, so no worry. Not sure of the opening date for this place. Not sure um, too much about it really. Uh, I haven't seen a lot, a lot of work going on it recently. I've seen some work going on, but not, not aggressively working it. I don't know if they've decided now that they cannot make this season. So they're going to wait until next season and just slow it down a little bit. That's possible. <clears throat> Used to come here almost every weekend when this was first built as you are walking. Uh, my father used to bring us up here on Sundays. I remember one thing about this place. So it was so white you were blinded by the sun. Everything was painted white when it came to the like anytime you high pitched sun every day, blinding. It was it was difficult for sure. Alright, we're gonna do a little thoroughfare walk in here and get off of the people's property. I don't think there'll be a problem, but I don't like to walk into areas that say no trespassing. Well, not too often because I can't come on here and lie because you all have walked with me on a few areas that said no trespassing, but I don't think we're trespassing. I, I think that we are just showing the properties for people, so I don't think it would have an issue with it, really. Now, this area, very dry. This is like St. Philip. Don't see the kind of rain I've done in Christchurch or St. Michael. Well, further down in Christchurch, like from Oysins down or St. Michael, etc. Very, very dry. Actually, the entire island is very dry now. We've had a couple of sprinkles over the last few mornings, but nothing that's even measurable, really. You know, so. Things are extremely dry at the moment. This pasture here, accessible by a car track, show you another time. You can always come up here and drive onto Cliff if you want to have a look at it. I noticed a less and less cigarette bushes and trees out here. So I know for sure that a lot of y'all are not too happy right now. But no me, I am sorely overjoyed. It's just beautiful out here this morning. Simply stunning. Let's we'll sit down here for a second, taking some of this beautiful scenery with you. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely scenery. So you can see there's, uh, there was a little pool section that was um, circled by some rock here for people to swim in before. I know that Karan would be able to tell you about that as well, but um, that's really the only section you could swim around here. It's very, very rough conditions. Um, see conditions up here are not favorable for swimming at all I'll just take any point here. We can look back at the property and see the construction And then we can say our farewells actually on this point here and we call this a day for this well for this morning We'll call it a day Something different this morning again, I know we've done this before um, But I am trying to hold the low tides um, for the coast this week you know, so I, I would think by tomorrow, we will probably be doing some beach work and stuff. So I can tell you in advance, get out your beach gear, get out your suntan lotion. Um, could we going back to the beaches tomorrow. 
as you can see though, sargasm even on top of these cliffs with the high tide just brings it right up. So as you see, since we were here last time, really nothing has gone on. Um, no more work really um, than what we saw. Maybe this building has been um, started to put on the base coating and stuff on it. And they have done a couple of window sills on the above section, just reinforce those areas, but not a lot of work. So I'm not too sure um, what's really going on right now, how fast they're working on this area. But I do know that they're talking about opening it up. It's actually become public and stuff. It's reopening and thing. Um, but I don't know how much more information on it than that. We will take in the remainder of the coastline next time. Um, but right now we're gonna say, uh, this is it for this morning. You've been able to see some of the beauty of Barbados. It's the rustic beauty of Barbados. Um, Barbados is not all white sandy beaches, um, you know, or big cliffs like on the northern side. This is what it's also about. It's another section of Barbados, another beautiful side of Barbados. If you would like to do some hiking and don't want to make it all over to the eastern side, you know, on the south coast, you can make your way up here. You can hike from, I would say, Chatsy Lane, right down, the whole way down, right down to Silver Rock, Silver Sands, and beyond if you want. But right down to Rescue Bay is all cliff area, so you can enjoy that quite comfortably. Uh, when you get beyond that, like Atlantic Shores, there's cliff as well, but it's a lot, of, a lot of residential in that area. It is a beautiful morning in Barbados, and I thank you all so much for joining me. Um, you know, every day, is not going to be the beauty that we sometimes see but we're going to see beauty beauty in a different way and this is not what a lot of you um, may come on vacation on because you're looking for the lovely pristine beaches and stuff which i can't blame you at all but for me they're five minutes away i live five minutes from the beach and i don't need to live any closer to be honest with you because that's close enough for me you know that's that's heaven for me and actually i look the furthest point on this island at five o'clock in the morning is north point and i'll get there in 35 minutes from my home so <laughs> you drive 35 minutes from your home on uh, most days and you although unless you live in the country of course you'll probably only move a few blocks but for me at that time of morning five o'clock beautiful beautiful Barbados so I'd like to thank you all for joining me again today on our little adventures for any of the new members on board um, we mentioned just now but you can get your swimming gear out if you need armbands or flotation device like has been recommended for me by a guy that I call blood well, you get them and prepare yourself because we're going to be swimming tomorrow for sure. If it's raining, we're going to look like a puppet in the ocean with an umbrella. That is not a problem because we're going to be bringing a live broadcast tomorrow. That's if God spares life. And as far as I can say is God is a kind, caring and loving God. And if he's going to spare life, I will most definitely be sharing my life with you and the beauty of this island through my eyes. From my care team, from our lovely, adorable, but wicked Munch Kings, from all of the individual uh, EMC members, I wish each and every one of you a blessed day. Have a lovely time. Say serenity prayers if you find yourself in difficulty. Say a little prayer for me, for my challenge that I'm going to be facing today. Have a great day, everyone. Love you all. I'm going to leave you with this view that you can say bye to everyone for a few minutes. Love you all, warmest and most caring greetings from Barbados. Have a great day everyone.